Therefore, I expect a good, clean bout. Do you have any questions? Touch gloves, go back to your corner. Good luck. And can he persevere when he's hurt? Trying to slow his man down. I'm seeing more jabs from Mike Tyson than I've seen in the past. Not to let Tyson stand up. Tyson also said that he has found a pattern in Tyrell Biggs that he faints to the right before the punch actually is thrown. Well, whatever he does, the fact that Tyson has to set up. He's trying for the head. That was a good shot by Tyson. Use the jab again. And come with that right hand. That was a quick little overhand right by Philo Stevenson, and I admit it was five years ago, but he really bothered there me. There is the hook, again, because his hands are down. Biggs is starting to become a stationary target, which is wrong. Right hand by Bad Tyson. Move. That is exactly what Biggs must do to stay in this fight. Can Tyson neutralize the jab? He's moving lateral, giving angles, but then he, he stopped. Became a stationary target. The hands again, according to his fight plan, but he still took some strong shots from Tyson. Exchange toe to toe, like I said earlier. And the way that Biggs is moving, he will run right to the left hook. Go, let him go, punch. Let him go. I break. And the game plan was for Biggs rather to move to his left. Now he's been moving to his right. And That's the uppercut. And the right hand does the most damage. There was a big right hand. Best punch of the fight. That was the left hook, Barry. That was the left hook I was talking about. Georgie Benson will say, keep those hands high. His most effective punch. Biggs has been on his jab a little bit more. And Biggs starts the third round backing up a little bit. And working a jab like Kevin Rooney stated. People don't realize this. I learned this from Andrew Dundee. It's Let me show you what Tyson does when he delivers that left Brother. hook. One, two. You see it. Steps in. One, two. And he throws it. The same eye, the same cut. And another big left hand and Biggs is hurt. A lot of blood from the left eye of Tyrell Biggs. That's something you pointed out before the fight. And now, it's Tyson just hammering him. Keep him to the eye. Stop that bleeding. He's not using his tools. He's trying to outmuscle Mike Tyson. And there is a huge left hand. But I think it's fair to say that he's not in here against David Bay tonight. Mike Tyson is not just loaded up with one punch. He's trying to put his punches together. It's the key made with Tony Tucker. The cut has not been any worse. And remember, it was a pretty good job done by Ace Parada, his cut man, in the fight with David Bay. But again, Tyson just putting all the pressure on him. So, didn't seem like Michael was a good short uppercut by uh, Mike Tyson. A little more body movement from uh, Tyrell Biggs now. Start to throw some uppercuts. He took a big left hand there. And another. Go into a fight with a game plan, and almost from the opening bell, he'll just let that game plan go away. Drills a hard right hand to the body, and comes up with a good left hook. The opposite of what he said he was going to do. Huge left hand there by Tyson. And a combination by Tyson. And so we start the fifth round, and Tyson is right on his man. It's a little swelling under the right eye of Tyrell Biggs as well right now. I don't know if Tyrell's going to recognize himself when he wakes up tomorrow morning. This is somewhat disappointing for Big's corner because he has more. He just forgot about his game plan. Well, I think this is a good education for the public because the fans at home, because they're seeing. And 
again, that cut over the left eye has opened up. There is the left jab to break that rhythm and stop the momentum of Mike Tyson. Good body shot by Mike Tyson. Hey, look on. Look on the and Biggs holding on a great deal now. There was a right hand by Tyson. And another. Biggs, you have to say, he, he, he uh, make this fight a little easier for him. Instead, he abandoned his uh, Mike, tactics, Mike, the strategy he worked on in the gym. I, I love those body shots, Barry. You know what's happening here. Actually, Biggs is just wearing down. Biggs come back with a combination of his own. Break! No punch, you let him out. All the way back to amateur days. Another left hand, and there's a great shot. Biggs is in trouble. Yeah. His legs will look steady. If your legs are gone, stand and fight them. Stand toe to toe and fight them. In the last round, our punch that figures Tyrell Biggs threw 15 punches, Ray. Now that was his game plan. I mean, that was something he said he had to do. Showing any more blood. I noticed when Tyson comes in, Biggs try to stand his ground and throw a right hand. And he's never, there's a right hand that just caught Biggs off balance. Biggs, of course, has never been known as a guy who could put a man away with one punch. But he didn't put him away. The elbow there. Oh, that punch. That was a tremendous left hand. Okay. Oh, this this is it. He is gone right now. He has no legs at all. And 10 seconds to go in a round. There's a left hand. He's down again. It's over. It's all over. And it wasn't even close. And a big one, and I feel like I'm being redundant with that, but he hit him with many big left hands, Ray. Well, look at look at the right hand of uh, Tyrell Biggs. It's down, and the left hook has been landed from round one. Here's the final knockdown now. No, I, I think it's the power and the fact that Mike Tyson actually wore his man down. The winner, still the undefeated, undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Mike Tyson!